been a long fall and winter waiting for my strawberry harvest. I got a few berries here and there last year, but no major harvest, which Danielle says is normal. It looks like I'm in for a bumper crop this year though, but I wanna make sure I'm picking it at the exact right time when they're at the peak of flavor. So Danielle's on her way over here with a couple pointers. I just hope she doesn't expect to take too many berries home. Sarah, happy spring. Looks like you've been up to a little bit more than just ordering vegetable seeds this winter. Yeah, I figured I needed a garden helper to help me weed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like your berries are doing so well. I can't believe how big they got. Yeah, I've been noticing some of the berries turning red, but I wasn't sure if they were quite ready to pick yet. I'm really glad that once you started noticing berries that you put the netting over to protect it from the birds and the bunnies and anybody else who wants to steal your berries. Definitely. I saw a few birds dive bombing it, and this is outside of Juno's patrolling area, so uh. <laughs> that went right up. <laughs> All right, well, so let me go over what you look for for signs of readiness to be picked, okay? Okay. So you want to wait until the entire berry is bright red, all the way up to where the stem connects. You don't want to wait until the berries are dark and burgundy in color because then they're usually overripe and taste spoiled. You also don't want to pick berries that have little green or white spots still on them because they're underripe and generally taste sour. So is picking in the morning like this okay? I know you said time of day was important. Actually, it's the perfect time because the dew will have evaporated already and the berries are still cool to touch. Okay. And how long will this bed of plants keep producing? Generally three to four years, but you're going to want to do what's called bed renovation. Um, that sounds major. What's that? <laughs> it, it basically involves at the, at the end of the season, at the fall, you're going to cut back all the foliage of the plants to the crown of the plant. You're going to pull out any plants that you're noticing over the next couple years that aren't producing. Make sure that you space the plants four to six inches apart. And if you have bare spots, plug in some new plants and that'll keep your bed going and going. Sounds like a lot of work. It, it kind of is. The other method is you can just let it go and rip all these plants out in three or four years and put in a whole new batch. Okay, but then I've got to wait an extra year to get them going again, right? True. So bed renovation is really a great way to uh, still get your berry harvest. <laughs> okay, so I just want to pluck off the berry with its green top, right? Yep, exactly. And you want to remove any berries that you notice are starting to rot and have fungus on them and dispose of those in the garbage because that'll prevent disease from spreading through the whole bed. Okay, good to know. Other than that, you just want to pluck them up and we might get a few of these and put them right in the fridge. Or you can eat them right now. <laughs> what can I say? Baby likes strawberries. <laughs> I don't blame the baby. <laughs> it's got good taste. 